Chaley Mycroft and her mother Zelda live in Cape Town. And they're on the way to a township where they help children with a handicap, which is a necessity according to Zelda. There's not enough money to create um, jobs for the people who need to, to do things like um, support inclusive education or any education of any kind with children with special needs. Chaley's limbs don't function properly because as a child she had a shortage of oxygen in her brain. Even talking for her is difficult. But Chaley proved to be special in other ways too, when at the age of nine she gathered enough money for a wheelchair by selling drawings she made with her friends. It inspired her and her mother to start the Chaley campaign, which now supports 3,000 children. And among them is three years old Inga, who has the same condition as Chaley. Yeah. Inga cannot be cured, so the Chaley campaign is there to make her life more comfortable. So she's got a special um, wheelchair that she can sit in that also keeps her um, body in a nice alignment um, to keep her comfortable and prevent contractures. For her mother it means that her daughter won't be transferred to one of the poorly equipped government institutions for the disabled. Children like this are often then hidden or ostracized and even sometimes killed. So it is a reality even today. Chaley campaign also helps here. And because of these efforts, Chaley won the Children's Peace Prize, awarded by the Dutch organization Kids Rights that helps children worldwide. Ellen Fronhoff, who works for them, is in Cape Town to witness what Chaley has achieved. She has taken concrete actions to improve the lives of so many children around her. Um, she's done that despite her disability and therefore um, having limitations to what she can do. But she has shown that she can do anything if you put your mind to it. The Children's Peace Prize is awarded for the seventh time and it comes with a 100,000 euro reward. The first winner was Nkosi Johnson, also from South Africa. He opened a home for children from HIV mothers in Johannesburg. And seeing how it is today, Ellen believes that kids' rights reached the objective of the prize. This village here has the potential to grow and even take on more kids and more mums. So yeah, definitely, I believe um, yeah. very much that it made a difference for these kids. Chaley considers it as a contribution to a better acceptation of people with a handicap. I think it would definitely... Um, make more people aware of, the, of people with disabilities, I think. Chaley here during a dancing class was chosen from 98 children in 42 countries.